outside of our studios flies a new American flag, the biggest on I-215. And with a flag that big, you sometimes need a flagpole climber with nerves of steel and courage against heights, high winds, and even lightning. No, the heights don't really bother me. Meet Sterling Murdoch. The climbing gym regular found his current career climbing flag poles by responding to an ad posted in his gym by Colonial Flag. <laughs> I'm like, I'll give it a shot. That was six years ago. Using rock climbing gear, Murdoch has climbed hundreds of flag poles across Utah and the country for Colonial Flag. And despite his experience, it can still be scary. The scariest thing is really tall, skinny poles because they bend. And I'm up there, 160 pound weight on the end of a skinny pole. It's kind of scary. Not as scary as getting buzzed by lightning while working on top of a giant lightning rod. I was wearing my earphones. I'm on top of a flagpole. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to one of those storms that comes out of nowhere. My ears started shocking and my, my skin where I was touching the flagpole started shocking. Pull my earphones out, I hear some thunder and that was it, I bailed. I unhooked from my ropes and slid 80 feet down in like three seconds. That's scary enough to get most to quit. I didn't go back to work for a couple days. But Murdoch is back on the job repairing flags and climbing poles as tall as 160 feet, including the flagpole right here outside our ABC for Utah studios. Well, let's take a live look at that Good For Utah flag right outside. You can see it there looking fantastic with that slight breeze. This Friday, we will be dedicating it live right here on Midday. So please join us at 11 o'clock for a very special show celebrating the flag just a day or two before Flag Day.